Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you a, a video talking about the drive through. The drive through is the part of the pitch where after we land in power K, that foot comes through to the other foot as we deliver. And remember, timing is a super important part of the pitch. So when we go to deliver, it's really important that the throwing hand, glove hand, and drive through foot all finish quickly and together at the same time. But what creates that drive through? Because a lot of pitchers actually struggle with this and it very much so affects the delivery of their pitch. So I wanna to talk to you guys today about what actually creates your drive through. And this also plays into front side resistance as well, which as we know, has a lot to do with power when we deliver the ball. And front side resistance is actually a big part of what helps us create that drive through. Let's start by talking about some common issues that I see with the drive through, okay? So many times when girls get into that power K position, they think that they need to kind of pull that drive through through using more of their upper body and their shoulders. So instead of staying tall and stacked when they deliver, they end up kind of going forward and then pulling themselves back as they deliver to try and get that drive through through. But what happens then is because you're bending and then standing up as you deliver, is it creates a lot of lift in the ball. So even if you get to a good power K position, if you go forward and then up, it's gonna create a lot of high pitches, regardless of what kind of pitch you're throwing. The other really common thing that I see is use of the shoulders to get the drive through through. So when they land in power K, they kind of pull everything through with their shoulders, their hips and shoulders coming through at the same time, instead of having that good upper and lower body separation. And that, when we, pull things through with the shoulders, you're gonna see kind of funny shapes with your drive through foot, but it's also gonna take your arm off the power line kind of out to the side and around your body. We can see a lot of inside outside misses when that happens. So those are the two most common issues that I see when girls are trying to create their drive through. So now let's talk about what actually creates your drive through. And a big part of what creates your drive through is actually your front leg as well as your hips. So, when we land in power K, it's really important, I like to tell my girls to land on a soft front knee, okay? Now, what does that mean? It does not mean land collapsed <laughs> in a lunge position, because that creates a whole bunch of issues with posture and front side resistance. What it means is that when you land in power K, you should not be landing with your leg locked, okay? First of all, because that puts a lot of pressure on your knee joint and we at all costs want to avoid injuries here, but also because a big part of what creates your drive through is the ability of the front heel, the front foot to push down into the ground and then the front leg extends as this back knee, the drive through knee drives forward, okay? So it's really important actually when your pitcher lands in power K for them to kind of land on the ball of the foot first on a nice relaxed but firm front side so that when that drive through starts, they can push down into the ground, extend the front leg and drive the drive through toe and knee forward. The hips also, as we know in power K, rotate forward and then kind of push forward as we deliver. So that combination of how the front leg works with the hips is what creates our drive through. And again, what you're gonna see if you have a pitcher who likes to land on the heel of their foot, that's actually really common. It can actually create a lot of issues with foot pain and knee pain as well. Um, or if you have a pitcher who likes to land on her entire foot and her leg is locked out, what you're gonna see is you've now lost your ability to push down into the ground when you land. And so what happens is they end up using their upper body to deliver, okay? So that front leg actually plays a critical role in both front side resistance and getting that drive through through. So if you watch me in a full motion, and I will slow this down for you guys, you'll see how my front, how my front leg acts, how my front leg lands tall and firm, but it's never locked out because you need to be able to push down into the ground to create that front side resistance and get that drive through foot through. So take a look here. Okay, slow motion now. So 
again, you see how my knee kind of lands softly, not locked out, and I push down into the ground, push the hips forward, rotate the hips through, and that really helps get my drive through through quickly and at the correct time. So really some good drills that I like to do to work on this, okay? You can do any sort of just simple whip drill or arm circle drill, but what I have my girls pay attention to is as they're coming up the front side of the arm circle, for example, I have them consciously pick up the front heel. We're not pushing up onto our tippy toes, it's just picking up the front heel. So as they come up, you pick up the front heel, and then as you go to deliver, really consciously focus on driving that front heel down into the ground so that front leg extends and then drive the right knee forward almost like you're trying to squeeze a ball between your knees so it would be heel up heel down heel up heel down and again you can do that with a whip drill too heel up heel down heel up heel down to just really kind of consciously work on that movement and get the feeling of how the front leg works to help get your drive through through. That can really help pitchers who like to use their upper body or their shoulders to deliver as opposed to their lower half. That's really kind of like a good thing to keep in mind. So much of our pitch comes from the lower half. So if you're seeing a lot of like excess upper body movement, chances are you have what I call an upper body pitcher. And as pitchers, we wanna be lower body pitchers, okay? along with width. So I hope you guys have found this helpful in learning how your drive through is actually created. Try a couple of those drills with your pitchers who are a little bit more upper body oriented. I've got a lot more videos coming your way and I'll talk to you soon.